Okay, I think it's working. Can I grab the stream link? Yes. I think it's working. Ooh. YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain stream's current bitrate. Oh crap. What? It's dying. Oh no. Uh Output, can I change the bitrate? Uh, yes. Question mark. Okay, now what's the bitrate? Oh, ooh, 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 oh no. What? Why is it dying? Ah, crap. Oh no, the stream is, uh, Jeez, what? What's wrong with it? Hello? YouTube, what are you doing? You says we'll experience buffering. Okay, what? I just changed the thing. Start streaming again? Excellent connection. Okay, there, I set the bit right. Now it should work. Excellent connection. Okay. Cool. So then, I just need to get the webcam working. Why is the webcam not working? Media source webcam. Hello, something? No. What? Why is it doing that? I'm so confused. Ah, crap. Ah. Why is the webcam not working? No! Ah! Jeez. 29 FPS. Okay, is it streaming to the right place? UDP, when I do a set of two, one, two, three, four. Um, properties. UDP one and two one two three one two three four. Yeah. Okay. So then, what do you just like not just having indigestion trying to figure out that format? Yeah, I'll give it like. Something else then, uh, format MPEG TS. Why can it do MPEG TS? Can't figure out the MPEG TS. Why? Couldn't initialize audio or video when I told you to What? What is it doing? 
Kodak Raw video is my favorite thing. May not be recognized upon reading. Okay. So then, uh, Kodak uh, None. And take TS. Oh hey, wait, it's streaming. Okay, okay, cool. And the latency is horrible, but okay. Hello. Oh gosh, the latency is actually like really bad on <laughs> the webcam. Oh crap. Um hang on, let me fix that. Uh, network buffering zero. Okay. Cool. That is like one second of latency. That should be fine. Does, do I even have any? No, nobody's even watching yet. Okay. Uh, crap. Um. Alright, well, I guess we'll just get started then. Uh, I did a little bit of experimenting before this video even started to make sure that this one super obvious way that I could have done it doesn't actually work. Because if it did, then it would be hilarious and bad. So why does this stupid mouse keep crapping out on me? What's wrong with this thing? Uh... Clear. Clear the screen. Okay, d does it have... Is it connected? Here. Look, I'll show you guys what I tried. So... If we go down... Here, actually I can't even see, but... Um... If we go down here... Actually, here, let's... Do this. Uh, give me one second here to fix this. This is horrible. Um, uh, crap. Scene. Crap. This is not going well at all. Um, scene. Can I not rename it? Okay. Scene. Uh, web. Uh, desktop plus web cam and then let's add just add existing now can I just copy this uh, yeah, okay, cool. And then just fill the screen. And sure, good enough. Okay. Let's let's look at this. So you see down here. I have a serial cable. The serial cable goes up, up, up. And now you can't see. Uh, crap. Goes up, plugs in to the back of the TV right here. So that was my idea. Was just. USB serial adapter. If it runs any standard Linux, it should just launch a Getty on TTY USB 0 by default. Hint. And it does not. Wow, this is unstable. Okay. Sure, this works. Um, yeah, it does not do that. Can probably get, have probably figured out. 
because if I type into the terminal here, nothing happens. Nothing at all. Which is, uh, great. Very, very great. Um, yeah. Still nobody actually on here. Oh, well. I guess I'll just wait for the stream to really start. And I'll re-explain everything. Okay, so, let's see here, so, what we need to do is copy this. to a new source uh, just to a screen capture action. Sure. That works. Let's make sure I don't have anything. Warned. Crap, come on. And it says that Okay, why does that break everything? Uh, sure, that works. Um, now, oh wait, that doesn't show the whole thing, what, ah, crap, are you kidding me, no, not that,
There we go. Okay, that works. <laughs> and transition. Okay, so as you can see here, this is my main desktop. Let's switch to different desktop and. Do a port scan of this thing. I want to show you what I found here. Slow comprehensive scan. This machine's IP address, I believe it's still 05. Network. Uh, I believe it should still be 0.05. No, that's not. That doesn't help me. Where's the thing at? Menu. Oh, system, yeah. System. System information. Uh, channel info. Network info. There it is. Connection, Wi-Fi, SSID, WPA2, wait, that's not right, you should not have that O.4 that IP address belongs to, what? Okay, I need to actually fix that before I can actually make it work. Manual setup. Yeah, DHCP should be off. What? Oh my. Oh, this, this is what this is. Okay, hang on, I need to. This is because of what happened when I reset the router settings. Hang on. Because it's, it's actually trying to do DHCP. It's getting that IP address that it should not ever be getting from DHCP. Login. Yeah, this should not have DHCP. DHCP off. Eight dot o dot five. Yes. Uh, um. No, this should be. One. Dot. One. One dot one it should be one dot ah, one dot zero. Zero dot one max save. Okay, now I gotta go fix that. Ah, <laughs> crap. It's a good thing I discovered a bug in the network setup, but now I have to fix it. Which is a pain. Um, yeah, set up. Yeah, DHCP. I just start at, at 20. 
you end at that two five four. Yes and yes go. Okay, let's see if that works. Yeah, that should have worked. Now let's try one and two dot one six eight dot o dot five. Oh, I need to close out of router settings, but. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I genuinely cannot tell if this is last piece of thing shutting down. Um, yes, recording and transition. Okay. See my desktop now. And I think. Yeah. Alright. Um, so you can see. And map. Let's scan the TV. Let's watch it take like 15 minutes to scan the TV. And do something else in the meantime, I guess. Because, yes. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's already discovering some interesting open ports. Which is exactly what I was getting discovers some sort of HTTP server on there, which is... Wait, why is it scanning my phone? What? No. Stop. Cancel. 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 What? Hang on. That's not right. My phone shouldn't have that IP address. Nothing should have .o.5. I just... I just deleted it from the... Why does it have... Uh, let's turn the Wi-Fi off and then on again. Let's try to see if it'll get a new IP address. Yeah, dot o dot .21. Okay. Now, dot o dot .5 should actually be scanning the TV. Scanning Android isn't interesting. I know that there's no way to get a sh proper shell on Android. Yes, dot dot five. You tried reverse DNS, but you're not gonna find anything. Yeah, this is where the juicy stuff is. Seeing HTTP server stuff. Seeing a lot of stuff on there. It's doing UDP, so it's going to take a long time. Actually, didn't I... No, I, I never saved it. Oh, well. Yeah, about five minutes remaining. That's not that bad. Oh, but it's gonna decrease because it literally the Wi-Fi cannot carry the packets that fast. I think it's trying to send them at gigabit, and because that's the link speed, and the router just cannot handle gigabit over the Wi-Fi. It just can't do it. Or at least I don't think this TV can. I think it's probably still on 2.4. I don't think this thing has 5 gigahertz support. 
Uh, I can check. Wi-Fi. Subnet mask. Uh, download speed 6 megabytes per second. Yeah, sounds about right. Signal strength 100. Yeah, it, it doesn't even tell me the uh, if it's 2.4 or 5 gigahertz, so it's definitely 2.4. This is an old TV. I got this thing in like 2018, I think. Maybe even before that. Yeah, I think it's entirely possible that it was before that, yeah. Well, I don't know. Discovered open port 5353. That one does DNS. That's something I have to check out. Can I just send a DNS query to it? That would be weird if it just has an internal DNS server. <laughs> that would be really weird. Let's see, do we have. No. We do not have any viewers yet, sadly. Did it get any results yet? Uh, no, it still just found DNS. Um, okay, that's that's cool. Um, where is there? It is okay. Where's the timing at? Where? Hello? Did it hang? Or is it just doing a lot of network I/O? And out oh, there it is. UDP scan timing. About, wait, no, that was just, ah, uh, okay. Uh, I'll be right back, I'm gonna go get some water. Let's see if it finishes. Okay, let's see. No, it's just hanging there. What? Why is it just hanging there? It should have... Oh, there it is, finally. UDP scan timing. It's about time. Eight minutes remaining. Okay, that's, that's fun. And still nobody actually watching yet. Mm, 
crap. Well, seven minutes remaining to the end map scan. Let's see, can I blow this up a little bit? No, it's stuck. Tiny. Okay. That's fun. Okay. Tools. No, there's no way to make the text bigger. Oh well. Ooh. And shutting off, come on. I wonder, is there like a developer menu on here? If I could like enable SSHD or something, that would be awesome. Because I know this thing has to run Linux. Reset and admin. Um, reboot the TV. Reset the factory settings. Power indicator on. System pin code. Viewing data. Collected via automatic content. No, screw you. You don't get to see what I'm watching on there. Advertising, um, yes, I don't want that. Um, so I can't actually do anything. There's no, hmm, let's do some research. Let's see. Vizio Smart TV Developer Menu Let's see How do you turn on developer mode on my Vizio TV? Okay So Now we get down to system Enter developer mode. Check for update system info support code. Uh, wait. What, what, what is it doing? No, stop. Screw that. No. I don't want that. No, stop. <laughs> Crap. Um... And take me back to HDMI 2 or no, it's taking me back to Smartcast. Screw that. HDMI 2. Go. Menu. System. Come on. Why do you want to? Oh, okay, I just need to hit it from up here. Because that makes perfect sense. Let's see here. One of the things in here is the Unix Epic. Amazing. Wednesday, December 31st, 1700, 1969. Amazing. Let's time and local. 
کنه Yeah, there's no daylight savings time. Okay, uh, guys, mm, what is this? Hmm. Select enable to use a TV remote to control CEC devices connected to HDMI. Cool, that doesn't really help me though. Aspect ratio normal. Sure, that none of that helps me though. Reset and admin. No, it's not letting me go down, so that doesn't help. System. Let's see what what model is this? D forty F G nine. Oh, okay. So there's hidden codes here. Okay. First, turn off your Vizio TV. Hold the exit button. Three seconds. One, two, three. And press the one, two, and three buttons. Then press the menu button and two, four, eight, nine, and press the menu button and one, two, three. Okay, that doesn't actually do anything. Okay, that doesn't actually help me at all. Come on. Okay, that actually doesn't work like at all. None of those do anything. Okay, that doesn't actually help. Guess I'll try it again, but with the TV on. Oh! 
I thought you were supposed to do it with it off. I'm dumb. Hold exit. One, two, three. What? Hold the exit button for one, two, three seconds. Then press the one, two, three button on the remote. Okay, that didn't work. Press the menu button. Then two, four, eight, nine. Ah, crap, let's stop. Go back. Menu. Two, four, eight, nine. Nope. Menu. One, two, three. Okay, none of that works. One, two, three. Three. No, that didn't work. Menu. Two, four, eight, nine. Okay, so that also doesn't work. Menu. Okay, so that doesn't actually help. Access secret service menu on Vizio Smart TV. All right, let's try it. This guy has like the same remote. Menu one nine nine. Oh, I did that wrong. Menu one nine nine. Back. That doesn't work. Okay. So you're lying to me. Smell no, does not work then menu four two one zero. Okay. Menu four two one zero. Oh, hey, wait. Factory mode. Okay, so that's good. Maybe. Factory mode is up. Color temperature. Burning mode. What does burning mode do? What? Ah. Uh, stop. Uh, exit. Home, uh, it's not leaving the, okay, there it is, finally. Man, it did not want to leave burning mode, I was concerned. Okay, so it's 2480. And what was it? 
I was the what was the thing? Four two one zero. Okay. Menu Factory mode, okay. Backlight. Sure. Information. Brand Vizio. Okay, yeah. Nah, I never would have guessed. Bootloader version is 2011. December of 2011. Reboot times zero. Amazing. More info. Power on. Secondary or directory? Uh, sure. Directory sounds cooler. Let's do that. Okay, but I, like, can't do anything with this, though. I can't enable, like, SSHD or anything cool on here. Um, I really just can't do anything with this, can I? That sucks. So then I actually need to, like, find a way to get a shell on here. I can't just enable SSHD. This is amazing. Um, so it's running Apple AirTunes RTSPD. It's running some sort of HTTP service on port 8088, uh, 8008, HTTPS on 8443, yeah, ICMP ping and discard, yeah. Oh wait, this does have SSH, what? There's no way. Hang on. Hang on, no way. I, can I just... 192.168.0.5 Connection refused. Okay. So, that's actually useful to know. Um. Wait, is 22 on UDP? I thought SHD used TCP. What? Does SSH use TCP or UDP? Yeah, so it listens on TCP, so why is it doing UDP? SSH to UDP port. Um, UDP over SSH? No, I just want to SSH to a UDP port. Um, let's ask good friend ChatGPT. Let's see. What does ChatGPT know about this? Is it possible to use OpenSSH to connect to 
a UDP port. A device I have has SSHD listening on UDP port 22 and I would like to connect to it. And that was not possible to use SSHD, open SSH to connect to a UDP port. UDP is <laughs> he has no idea. <laughs> oh man. Yo, does anybody know how to connect? To UDP port 22 for SSH. Can't find anything about it on Google, nor can I. is confused. Alright, let's see if, cause if I netcat to it. nc u 192.168.0.5.22 Then it disconnects. Hmm. Avahi zero comp. Don't I have that? Yeah, Avahi zero comp. Um. Discover. System CTL enable that system now of key daemon dot service. Vahi discover. So it's confused. SSHSP SSH logo host dash P eight oh twenty two. Let's copy this. Let's copy that handshake string. Ah man, what I didn't copy it. Yeah, so it just disconnects.
Oh yeah, because UDP doesn't even work like that. So how could it ever be even this like what? I I am honestly confused. Wait, where did that just doesn't even matter, whatever. Okay, so wait, I am actually confused. I don't get it. That's not how that's supposed to work. Yeah, UDP port 22 SSH. But it's filtered. Let's go to 53503, let's see. Yeah, it's not disconnecting me though. That's a good. So, okay, but then why does it disconnect me then? I don't get it. Shouldn't be doing that. Let's try, um... NC-LVP8022 and typed into that. That's not bi-directional, though. No. I don't think it is. I'm 90% sure it isn't. Yeah, so I just... Yeah, so it just kills the connection. Because the second end of the pipe closes. Let's see what else. Because we have DNS running on there too. We have port 53. It's, it's not... Take a sidetrack from this for a second. Um, let's see, can we ping it? Yes, we can. So it's not filtered, it's open. So wait, X11. There's no way that's an X11 server. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a second. X11. This thing runs on X11? I mean, I guess it makes sense, because it's, it's... You know, it's like... Oh my gosh, is that how you could, like, stream data from it? Hang on. Um. Let's Google how, you, how to connect to XDMCP server. In a window, Linux. Okay, so then let's see. Let's just try moving to a different TTY. Let's 
try it. Alright, um... How to log into XDMCP server. Oh, from the ArchWiki, that's perfect. XDMCP. XDMCP is similarly to Telnet doing unencrypted authentication. Snooping is possible, the system, um, this leaves the system vulnerable to attack. It is disabled by default, using an SSH tunnel for X traffic is preferred. Yes, that makes sense. Oh, Remina supports XDMCP? Does it really now? That would be kind of cool. Ah, crap, wait, no. This is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to move the window on the, here. Okay. VNC to force X to go. So then... That, yeah, that does not help me in the slightest. Ramina X DM CP Ramina X DM CP Yay dash S Ramina plugin the MCP? Is it just... No? Arch... See here. So, yeah, so ports. Not maintained as nobody uses it. Then oh, I need to use Zephyr. Okay. What? Uh, XOR Zephyr. Um. J-S-S, Zephyr. Did I even spell it right? I see... Yeah? Okay, let's see. Okay, yes. Yay, there's just XORG server Zephyr. There we go. Oh, I'm doing this on the wrong machine, hang on. Zephyr. Remove it, yes. So I need to be doing that on this machine. 
Yay, dash s xorg zephyr. Install. And then I need to kill Ramana. So I'm gonna disconnect. Reconnect to the VNC so I can actually control the stream again. And then... No, I still don't have XDMCP. What? Did you actually remove it? That would really suck if they actually just up and removed it. Yeah, it no longer supports it. Dang. Our desktop. Support. XDMCP. Oh, no, that's RDP. That's different. Okay. Um, XDMCP client Linux. Linux XDMCP how to. Before you begin some background. Um, Remote client piece. Hummingbird exceed. Tested if Windows. Ah, uh, I actually just gonna need to use like Xming under Wine. That would be stupid. I really do not want to use Xming under Wine. That would be horrible. No. <laughs> Oh no, it's looking like I'm actually gonna have to use Xming. Test restart your X. Graphical login, yeah, Hummingbird exceed. Other X client software. Why don't you tell me? Wait, XGMCP client on <laughs> Snap? Thank you. I do not want snaps on the system. No. Um, yay dash SSX DMCP. Let's see here. Libx DMCP. XDMC Q proxy. That. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, crap. I do not want snaps on here. No, screw that. Um I'm sure that has to be somewhere else, right? That can't be the only way. Configure GDM and CP. Okay, so how do I test it then? Let's see, init tab. Okay, so this is ancient. Okay, but then. How do I connect to it, though? Okay, but how do I... Like, there's so many ways to, um... Yeah, there's so many ways that I can... Enable XDMCP, but how do I? Okay, here. Xnest. Okay. Finally, so that I can install. I've 
I might already have it installed. No. Xorg Xnest. Yay dash SS Xnest. Uh, Xorg Server Xnest. Okay. Wait, no, I'm doing that on the wrong. Uh, wait, now I'm doing on the right one, yeah. Because I want to be able to do that from the stream, yeah. Okay. So then... Xnest... Yes, okay. Yeah, okay. Dash... Query... One nine two dot one six eight dot four dot five geometry twelve eighty by seven twenty and colon one. Imagine if it just successfully uses XDMCP, that would be Absolutely hilarious if it could. Ah, uh, crap, wait. That would be absolutely amazing if it could just properly use XDMCP. Oh, and it can't. It's just hanging there. But technically, it never... Crashed or anything. Oh, wait, it's oh, man. X nest nested X servers with an X client and an X server. X nest is the client of the real server, which manages Windows and graphics requests on its behalf. X nest is a server to its own clients. X nest manages Windows and graphics requests on their behalf. So these clients, X nest appears to be a conventional server. I don't want that though. I just want it to be a client. Let's see. Scroll down. Uh, should dash query what? What is that not a valid thing? What? Is that not a valid Yeah, it's just not on the main page. Why? Oh gosh. X Ming. No, I don't want to use X Ming. Crap. Alright, but I have a Windows PC right here that I'm streaming. What am I doing? I literally have a Windows computer that I can just pull up. Okay, let's, let's do that then. Let's switch. Uh, Okay, why did the OBS thing freak out? What? Um... That's not right. Teleport. Teleport is enabled. And teleport. 
you should be receiving. What? Why isn't it receiving? Four zero. Refresh the list. What? I'm. What? Why? I genuinely don't know. What? Oh, wait. There it is. Okay. Optiplex. It just mysteriously got a different IP address. Okay, you're gonna connect? What? Why can't it connect? What, what the heck? Teleport is enabled. Point zero. Identifier Optiplex. Refresh. There. Optiplex. You've connected. Oh, here it is. It's back. Okay. Cool. Wait. Ah, oh, crap. I shouldn't have closed that. Please tell me it'll just come back. Hopefully. Connected? Okay, cool. What I meant to do was minimize it. There we go. Now... So I need to go download Xming. But just... That is gonna be so weird trying to connect to the TV from the thing running on the TV. Wait, it's an X11 display server. I could have sworn it you didn't need to do that, but let's try it anyways. I, I swear last time I checked you were able to just connect to an X server that was running on the LAN. Full installation, sure, sure, and sure. Launch Xming. Yes, please. Uh, did not launch, but okay. X launch. Um. Not available with a multiple windows, but uh, one window. Open session via XDMCP. Okay, cool. Um, connect to host 192.168.0.5. Um, no, do not start the integrated clipboard manager. Save configuration. Uh, sure. Finish. Is it actually going to connect? Xming server? Uh, uh, uh. Okay, but is this actually the TV? Or is this just Xming on its own? doing absolutely nothing. Yeah, there are currently zero clients connected because there isn't supposed to be any clients. One window. Display number zero. Open a session via XDMCP. Use indirect connect, sure. 192.168.0.5 Do not start the integrated clipboard manager. Finish. Oh wait, what? Is this actually just connected? Is this the X server that's running on the TV? <laughs> just nothing? Just 
a bog standard X server? What? And this will be the real test here. Uh, wait, what happened? It. Oh, what? Why isn't it recording the X Meg window? What? Uh, let's try this. Uh huh. Okay, X Meg. Cool. Um, now this is a real test. If I just go unplug the TV, if it disconnects on me, then I know it's actually connected. If it doesn't disconnect, then I know that it's just stupid x Ming actually hosting its own server. Which is not what I want. Okay, TV has been completely unplugged. Yeah, it looks like X Ming is still running. Um, well, it appears as though the entire computer has just hung, which is odd. Oh, Explorer just crashed. What? Oh wait, here it is, okay. Whoa, why is it being laggy? What? Okay. So why did Explorer crash? Oh yeah, x -Ming is still running. So that's like not at all what I wanted then. That's that's just awesome. Okay. I go plug the TV back in. And I'm gonna need to find another way. Ah why does it not work, though, is my question. It should work. <laughs> TV is booting up, and yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, mouse. Exit. Yes, proceed with the shutdown of this display slash server. Yes. And then let's set the capture method back because this is being weird. Okay. So why does this thing have so much latency? What? What's going on here? Uh, why is it like that? What what resolution is this running at? Is it not running at 720p anymore? Oh yeah, it's running at 1080p, that's why. Uh, 720. There we go, much better. Okay, so... So, I genuinely don't know what's wrong with this. How can I connect to it, then? Well, that, that, that doesn't matter, I guess, because it's just not going to let me connect. I'll need to experiment with that more eventually and see what's wrong with it. Why it won't let, Well, nothing's really wrong with it. I just need to find out how to actually connect to a remote X server. Is the issue, but let's try DNS because DNS is running on there. Dig at 192.168.0.5. Okay, 
just check with google.com. No servers could be reached. Connection refused. Uh, and port 5353. Couldn't get address. Man, dig. Oh, dash P. Dash P fifty three. Yes, and that's regular. And then five three five three is open. Timed out. Yeah, it's gonna time out because you couldn't do it. Um, yeah, all of these are filtered, so I really can't do anything with any of these. But what I can do is I can mess around with the RTSP and I can mess around with. HTTP and whatever CS listener is and AJP 13. What is AJP 13? Let's see. Apache JServe protocol. Other benefits with things like simple connection pools and tight integration if you use Apache Logic Tomcat. So, client to HTTPS to proxy to HTTPS to app. Um, okay. So, Apache JSERV protocol. So, what can I do with that? I, I don't think there's anything I can really do with that. That's just... HTTP, that's just weird HTTP, basically. RTSP I can do something with, probably. I don't know if that's sending or receiving, though. So, what is CS listener, though? And what is CS listener? It's listening on port 9000, yes. Sentry in its default configuration. Oh, it could be PHP FPM. Huh. Just see what what happens if I try to send an HTTP request to it. It's probably gonna freak out. If it's PHP FPM, it's just gonna explode. And you're not sending anything back, so it's not it's unlikely to be PHP FPM. Actually, I can check that right now. 
Oh, wait, no, because I'm on... Oh, yeah, because mine is listening on a Unix socket, so I can't... I was, was going to log into my web server and check, but no, because if it's listening on a Unix socket, how could I... I couldn't actually send it to a port. Um... Can I netcat to it? Just send garbage to it and see if it responds. I doubt this is even an open port. I bet there's like nothing listening on here. Because if it was actually, there was actually something running on there, it would have closed the connection if it, so I was just sending gibberish to it. I have no idea. I am honestly running out of ideas on how I could actually get a shell on here, short of opening the machine, up, open up the, opening up the entire TV and scouring the board for like a UART for it or something. In which case, sure, I bet if I actually was able to find a physical UART port on it, I'm sure I could get a shell, but. I doubt I'm going to be able to actually find a physical York port on the board, and I'm not really interested in taking the entire thing apart. To be honest, that's just, uh, I'm, I'm good. I don't, I'm not really interested in doing that. So yeah, port 9000 is nonsense, but let's see. What other ports? That's the last TCP port. Yeah, that's the only thing that was open. Let's curl. Um. Hmm. Let's see here. Linux bidirectional height to program. Hmm. Let's try this. And then yeah, prog one and prog two aren't actually good, but um netcat dash lvp eight oh one eight two and then netcat this U one two one six eight zero dot five port fifty three fifty three. Ah, crap.
Ah, crap. Okay, so that's the listening on 8022, and that's connected. Okay. There's no way that this is actually going to work. Can I just curl? Local net cat, local host, 8 or 22. Oh. Oh, so it kills the pa it kills it. Did it disconnect already? It didn't disconnect yet. Still didn't disconnect. And yeah, now it's gonna die. But let's try that, and let's try just count dev you random into here, and then let's check if there's actually just network traffic. Uh, I do believe that I have. Oh, whoa! VMC is taking a crap. Uh, hang on. Let's try that again. Disconnect. Reconnect. Because, yeah, I'm in my bedroom where the TV is. And, uh, oh, the entire VNC server died. Uh, hang on, I will be back. Uh, gosh, how bad is it? Uh, oof. Excellent connection. So, this works, but... Where did I put VNC at? Try that again. Oh crap. So VNC is absolutely dying on me. Okay, here it is. She, she's back. Okay. Um, Zen map. Wait, what? No, where's Zen map? Oh, because I'm I didn't map all the keyboard. There we go. Ooh, ooh, it's definitely. Right, why am I Zen map? No, I, I need um. A, what was it? A Wireshark. I need a terminal for that. Yeah, it's d definitely doing the track, that's for sure. I can, I can confirm that way easier just from HTOP, let's see. Check my network usage. Uh, ah, crap, I'm gonna need to... F2 set up. Come on. What? F2 setup. 
Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's chugging along. Ooh. Hang on, I need- I actually just need to kill this, hang on. This is not- okay, ah, uh, crap. Everything is dying. Oh no, hang on, I need to go to the other room to kill it. Anything? Can I just... Desktop 3? Please? That's OBS. Uh, um. Ooh. And man, it's hogging all of the network traffic. That's just Discord. Hang on, I actually need to go into the other room and fix it. Crap. Yeah, kill the network traffic temporarily. <laughs> so, man, it was killing the land. Oh, oh, crap. Okay. Let's try that one more time. But let's fix HTOP first so I can actually see if there's infinite network traffic meters network io okay it's transmitting about one megabit per second for the stream Fix the FIFOs and okay. X eleven VNC is just not having that at all. Oh man, hang on, I need to go into the room again. Crap. <laughs> oh, you saturating that gigabit connect. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, it was managing to saturate the entire gigabit connection. For upload, yeah, no thanks. Yeah, no, that is not happening. Uh, I need some way to slow it down to the point where it's not reading 125 megabits per uh, 125 megabytes per second. Um. I could run it, I could cat something slower, I could cat dev sda into it, it's a spinning hard drive, it definitely cannot go fast enough. Let's try that. Oh, what? Permission denied, okay. Pseudo. So yeah, that's not killing the network too badly, I think. Oh no, wait. What? Uh, nope, it is not like that at all. Okay. Um. Yeah, I. 
don't think we're gonna be able to do anything with this. I wasn't able to get X to work, wasn't able to get DNS to work, wasn't even able to get the stupid HTTP thing to work. Well, no, I never tried the HTTP thing. Five, ages is zero, eight. Flash. 404 not found. Hmm. 404 not found. Not even giving a server. Hang on. Remember seeing something. Netcat dash LVP eighty. Oh, uh, did I just? Oh, whoops! I just shut down the machine. I was using to control it. Uh, crap! Whoopsies! Uh, log in. Start X. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one six eight two password and back. Okay. Get out. Eighty eighty. Into quest. What? Oh, because I'm not forwarding the uh, for open terminals on the client. Ah, crap. Uh, curl local host 8080. Kill the connection. Uh, cat. Quest into netcat. And then who wants H O five? Is is there H? Do an H N C. Oh, it's just disconnecting me. What? <laughs> okay, so... Uh, crap. It's not even connecting at all.
Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm gonna call this a failure. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do anything with this. Because this is just not working at all. Actually, let's, I, I'm going to try something quick. Because this can do an actual HTTP request. Uh, no, stop, get out of here. Um, I don't want live share. Get close the remote connection. I want uh, stop, stop, stop. Uh, extensions. Thunder. Wait. Thunder client. Let's make a new request. To one nine two dot one six eight dot zero dot five. Connection was refused by the server. Yeah. Eight. This is eight. Error. Connection was refused. I got the port number right? 8008. Yeah, so it just starts refusing connections. Hmm. User agent uh, Pearl response refused by the server. What the heck? So yeah, not not even the HTTP server works. Let's try um, the HTTPS server. Four four three refused. Yeah, that's did it, did the IP address just change on me? That's actually entirely possible. Also, I'm pretty sure the webcam went down when I killed the computer, but, yeah, still dot without five, so, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna call this a failure, I don't know what's wrong with it, and I gotta go, so, um, I might pick this stream up again if uh, there's actually demand for it, but I don't think I've gotten a single view this entire time, so, Seems like not a lot of people are actually are interested in this one, so uh, I'm gonna end the stream here. If any, if anybody actually wants to see another attempt at this, uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, whatever. If you happen to be watching like the video, not the stream, but all right, see ya. Uh...